Hey y'all, my name is Shante Hands, coming to you with another video. I made another video. I think the last video I made, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was pretty, I was pretty sad. Cause I was not able to get my weight loss, uh, I was not able to get my tummy tuck. Um, for those that are following me and for those that care, I'm coming back on video to give a life up date okay um um i'm not gonna lie i was not able to get that tummy tuck and it hurt my feelings um i don't think i went through a, a long tough time dealing with it i kind of just had to move on and just go on with life y'all but um i still get upset about it time and time but i mean as the time goes by um I realize God is revealing to me like the reasons why I didn't get that tummy tuck. I can honestly say I thank God that I can get that tummy tuck. Do I still want a tummy tuck? You better believe I do. Yes, I do. I do. But I feel like when it's time and I'm ready to like really, really, um, like it's really mental for me. I feel like when it's time for me to really tap into my mental when it comes to that, I feel like God is gonna let that melt, let that weight. I feel like God is gonna let that weight just melt right off of me. Um, I, I, cause I can kind of notice different things of with my body right now. Um, just, just while I'm taking care of myself, y'all. I'm noticing um different things. So, I believe in my heart and in my mind that God is gonna let this weight melt off of me, where I'm not even gonna need a tummy tuck. Do I want a tummy tuck? I do. But anyways, we'll see how the we we'll see what the future tells. If I'm gonna end up getting one, or like I said, this weight is gonna melt off of me in the places that it needs to melt off at. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's my kittens. They're just in and out of this room, and they're just doing whatever they wanted to. We have two kittens now, a boy and a girl, and they just so not having to go to work is such. A blessing I can truly say that I am happy I'm happy every day I just thank God that I'm in a position where I don't have to work um, I can be at home with my children um, I can be involved in what they're doing I could um, like for an example I took my son my son I was able to put my son in like a little summer program and in that program um, he was able to play sports and do different things throughout the community uh, that was funded. Um, I just remember just putting my teenagers through that when they were younger. And even my youngest one, I mean, I've always had them involved in different things in the community. You know, just making sure I'm using all my resources in the neighborhood that I have. Um, I will always be tired. Like, I would have to just drop them off. Or I would have to drop them off on the way to work. Um... And stuff like that or i might not be able to participate because i was just too tired so dealing with my youngest uh son this summer there's a lot of things that we were able to do this summer i was able to get up in the morning we was able to just get up and go and like just participate in all the programs and stuff and i even told him i was like son do you remember like back in the day when i would have to take you guys places and it, it would be times where i would have to like literally just sleep in the car and let you guys go in and he was just like, yeah, mom, I remember that. And I was just like, I thank God that it's not like that. And I don't want to ever go back to that again if I don't if I don't have to. I pray that God is going to always put me in a position that I need to be where I don't have to um, stress and work that hard anymore so I can be involved with my children. Uh, and I, it's like I know I have an 18-year-old. And my 18-year-old, yes, he's 18 years old. And he's going to learn. He's learning how to just live, you know, live like just be responsible for himself and like i'm able to just guide him through that and i'm just seeing how he's becoming this young responsible man and i just don't want my children to fall through the cracks you know what i'm saying i don't want them to fall through the truck cracks but like with me like and i know i'm going back and forth guys but i just want to share you i just want to share like what type of things and what type of emotions and what, and what type of feelings i've been having because someone out there might be dealing with the same stuff so, like I told you guys, I'm happy. I'm holding my kids. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna, I will admit that this summer was, this summer kind of threw me off. I'm trying to still get back in track, but like, 
I'm not gonna lie to you, like this summer, I will go to sleep when I feel like it, I will wake up when I feel like it, and I will kind of like just come and go as I please. I didn't really have my day planned out or anything like that. Um, so I started to notice, like, I know that I'm happy. Ooh, I feel like I'm super shiny. It's like, I know that I'm happy. I kept telling myself, I know that I'm happy, but I was like, what is making me unhappy? Like, I was like, it's still like a void there that I just don't get. Like, I couldn't quite figure out why I was feeling the way I was feeling. Like, I don't know. For those that know, you know, if you don't, you don't. I'm like working on my, I'm trying to work on a business or I'm trying to create something for myself to where I can bring in income, but also still love to do what I'm doing. Like for example, making videos, okay? I know eventually if I keep making my videos and I create a following, you know, I might do okay, or I will do okay on YouTube. But I was also trying to like build a website, an uh, online store, and I just couldn't quite get with it. Like I'm still dealing with that right now. But then I have to realize, like I don't actually feel like doing that the reason I didn't feel like really doing that I really just died in into my business and because it was totally fear it was fear it is fear feel fear of failing fear of failing um I feel like I tried so many times so many different ways to build my business and I haven't been truly successful in it but then I realized I have to work hard. I have to push myself. I have to keep trying, keep trying. If it don't work, keep trying. If it don't work, keep trying. Don't give up. So I'm already, I'm already dealing with that, having fears of starting my business. Then I have to realize, Shantae, you're not disciplined enough. You're, you need to create a, a discipline for yourself and just make the, do the damn thing, back basically. And that's what I haven't been doing. So I, I can get on camera right now and admit that I haven't really been truly pushing myself. And really it's because like a, a huge, like just, like I've been dealing with just so much procrastination that it does not make any sense. It's like kind of ridiculous. And I will ask myself every day, like, what is wrong with you, Shantae? Like I will literally was like, what is wrong with you, Shantae? And I had to finally realize the fear of failing. Okay, then if I don't have a routine, if I don't have a plan, if I'm not disciplined, I'm not going to ever get what I want. I had to realize that about myself. So that's where I'm now. I need to create a routine for me to follow every day. And I need to be disciplined enough to make, basically make that shit happen. Or I'm never going to get to the goal or get to the point that I want to get to. Okay, and I'm realizing that now in my today's life, like I just had to realize that a few weeks ago and it's like, Shantae, you've been kicking it all summer. You've been kicking it all summer. Um, and it's just like, why haven't you got your shit together? You have all this free time, you're not working. You used to always complain about how you work and you don't have time to do all this stuff. Now you have the free time and it's like, what is your excuse? It's really procrastination, procrastination, and the fear of failing. And that's not okay. It is not okay. At this point, I really want to hit all my key elements. And I know all my key elements, one of them, I don't know how many key elements I want to hit, but I know there's a lot of key elements in life that I want to meet and I want to achieve or I feel like I'm not anything. I don't know that if somebody else out there feels like that, but it's like I'm getting older and it's like I'm, I need to be harder on myself when it comes to that type of stuff so I can be the best person I could be. I know one of the elements is happiness. I feel like I fulfill happiness. I don't think I 100% fulfill happiness, but do we ever do? But I feel like I'm happy right now. So I wanna keep that happiness. The next thing I wanna work on is my health and my sleep. Um, I know if I work on my health, I know that overall my body will feel better. I will be better. I will feel better. Right now, I am taking like different vitamins and stuff that I do want to share with you. I plan to take even more vitamins, but I feel like the vitamins and stuff that I am taking is helping. But that's another thing too. I need to be consistent on taking all my vitamins and minerals and stuff. So the next thing, um, so that all ties in with sleeping well eating well working out i also want to work on my career and my job which is 
eventually I am going to want to go back to work. Then having a job will help me create a, um, a routine. I also want to work on my career, um, making money on, I really want to make money online. I want to have an online store and have different revenues like that as far as income. And then, you know, right now I'll find a job because, you know, I, I need to work. I need to make money. And then my children and my family. So that's count. My happiness, my health, my health, diet and fitness, my sleep, my career and job, and my family. Family and children. So that's five elements. That is a lot of work. Believe it or not, it takes a lot of work and energy to take care of yourself. And if you really care about yourself and if you're really in tune with yourself, you will figure out the elements that you need to take care of in your life so you can really feel happy and feel and feel fulfilled. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional, but I know whatever I'm saying is right. I know that whoever's listening to me right now might feel the same way. So, like, I don't even want to get on camera and say anything about weight loss journey. We're going to have a life journey, y'all. This is a life journey. There are so many elements in life that I know that I need to cover and fulfill to fully be myself, to fully be happy, to fully go out there and take and conquer the world. And if I don't have those elements, I'm just going to feel stuck. I'm going to continue feeling stuck like the way I do right now, present, right now. As I'm making this video, I'm talking to myself, but I know there's somebody else out there that I feel like that. So, the first thing I want to do is create an eating schedule for myself. I need to go to sleep at the same time, wake up at the same time. I need to eat at the same time. I need to make sure that I'm putting things in my body that belong and that's going to benefit me and make me healthy and not all sluggish and sick and stuff. I also need to, um, I also need to find a job. Um, hopefully I can start a job next week. I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, I'm starting, I'm going to go into the field of home care. So, um, hopefully I can pick me out a schedule and, um, work part time and still work on my, um, online business that hopefully will launch soon if I just get off my ass and just make it happen. By keeping my faith, praying and trusting in God, um, this is the things I need to do. And I know that I'm going to always continue to be there for my children. That's going to always happen. That's going to always be part of my journey. I'm always going to be there for my family and my children. I just pray to God. I honestly pray to the God that I can be the best parent that I can be. I know I'm not perfect, but I know that my children need me. I know that they need me. And I'm going to try my best to be there for them. Man, it's so crazy. I just talked you guys' heads off. Like, but I really wanted to make this video because I know I'm not the only person that feels this way. If you feel like there's a void, you feel like if you don't feel complete, like, please just pray to God. P please pray to God. Keep the faith. I had to realize that it's because I don't have balance and routine in my life. And I believe that God let me listen to the people or hear the things that I need to hear to know that about myself. So now I need to work on myself. Right now, it's Shantae's journey is working on self. Sometimes you might have to close people out around you. Um, you might have to drop certain people in your life that you don't that you know that doesn't need to be in your life. And I had to do that, y'all. I had to drop certain people in my life that I knew I did not need to have in my life, even though I wanted them in my life. Think about that as well. Who is around you that is distracting you? That's keeping you from being and doing the that's keeping you from being the ultimate person that you need to be and that is slowing you down and holding you back because they're distracting you. Because they're distracting you. Think about that. I'm telling you right now. But anyways, I do not want to talk you guys head off. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, please like comment below tell me if you feel this way too but i'm telling you right now believe pray and trust in god i'm telling you right now and yeah thank you so much for watching my video bye i'll be back <laughs> peace